Well, the man charged with shooting and killing a would-be mugger returned to court today. Charles Foner is now facing 26 counts of weapons possession after investigators discovered an arsenal of guns, including AK-47s and body armor, in his apartment in Queens. Those charges are in addition to the charge of using an unlicensed gun when Foner allegedly shot and killed 32-year-old Cody Gonzalez when Gonzalez tried to rob him. Andrea Burkett has the latest from Kew Gardens and joins us now live there with the latest. NJ. And that's right, Liz. Uh, Charles Foner is charged not for the actual shooting, but for that arsenal of weapons that he kept in his modest Queens apartment. In fact, prosecutors suggested today if it were not for all of those weapons, Foner might not have been charged at all. So, yes, Foner appeared in court today for his arraignment, 26 counts of criminal weapons possession for those firearms he had, assault weapons like AK-47s and the 38 caliber Smith & Wesson revolver he used to shoot and kill a would-be mugger at 2 a.m. on Wednesday in a driveway outside his apartment. A man who lunged at Foner with a sharp object that later turned out to be a pen. Foner admits to all of it, claiming it was an act of self-defense. Well, surveillance video clearly shows the assailant trying to corner Foner, closing in on him. Foner's wife was present at the arraignment, but said nothing to reporters afterwards, offering only a polite no comment. Queens DA Melinda Katz told me earlier this week that the case is complicated. Well, she released a statement today reading, quote, My office is charging Charles Foner with multiple counts of criminal possession of a weapon. These are the charges factually supported by the evidence, end quote. At least one neighbor supports Foner despite the charges. I know him personally. He was a nice guy, so never would have thought he had that many guns, but always was nice walking his dog around the neighborhood, spoke well, so I have nothing bad to say about him. What do you think of the situation he's in? Uh, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate because he actually was a victim, and it could have been the other way around. Well, the case will go to a grand jury, of course, but it appears at this point that any additional charges pertaining to the shooting will not be presented to the grand jury. Foner was ordered held on $50,000 cash bail. I understand that he remains in custody at this hour.